Hello everybody, Joe here, and happy Tuesday. I talk about minimalism and my health, and I just try to be raw and real and honest. Um, along those lines, sorry for my appearance. I have no stamina today, or very little, and I'm, I'm still in my pajamas, I'm still in my robe. I look like I'm half asleep, but we are going to try and make a good video today. So I hope this is good for you. I'm also in desperate need of a haircut. My hair has gotten way too long. So pardon my voice, pardon my appearance, and let's discuss. So Brandy at Free Me Life on YouTube had a great suggestion for a video. And that was to discuss my thought process on why I have things organized, the way I have things organized, and how I keep things so organized. So I want to talk with you about my thoughts between on how I have things organized and why I have it organized that way. Because for me, as a, for me, Like, when it comes to my body or how I do things, I forget to mention it because it's just, it's my normal. I'm like, so I forget that not everybody does it the way I do it. So let's go to the kitchen area and I will explain my thoughts on how I have things set up and my logic behind organizing. Now for me, I am a very practical person is what I like to call it because Everything has to be easy and to make sense. Oh man, my overhead light is extremely bright. That's going to make this interesting. Okay, I'm going to turn you around so you don't have to see. So if you look at my sink area and if you've seen it before you've noticed the soap and dish rack used to be on this side and the paper towels and the bananas and stuff and the hand soap used to be on the other side but I switched them because this is where being more practical comes in and makes sense for me. If you look here, this is where my dishes are. So usually when I do dishes, I'm washing a spoon, I'm washing, washing a plate or a bowl or a cup, and they're getting put away. So it's easier to put away instead of having to reach over the other side and put them away. Just having the dish rack right underneath drying and putting away. Now, if you look up on the top shelf, it is a mug and a beer glass that only get used a couple times a year. It is my extra food storage containers for when I Need to, when I get stuff that needs to be decanted and then I have the red plastic cups, paper plates, paper bowls, and napkins and stuff for when I have kids over or more people over than I have dishes for there's stuff for them to eat off of and because for me, it doesn't happen often enough currently. 
that's the current setup that, that if I ever have more company that may change in the future. I have two small bowls, two small plates, and two small cups. And it makes sense for me for because usually when I do have somebody, it's usually like one other person besides me. So that's enough for each of us. Or if my stamina is really low like it is today, I can go through all my dishes and, and just as long as I'm able to wash them by the end of the night and still have plenty for myself. And then continuing to look along this side is flatware. So there's chopsticks, usable chopsticks because They just came in a pack, and I don't mind having overstock of chopsticks. Because my family likes Asian food, my extended family likes Asian food, and I like California rolls and just to eat things with chopsticks. So you have special spoons, steak knives, let me fix those, forks spoons and then butter knives and then that stuff is stuff that is two of those or am I like going out flatware so I'm not using reusable flatware in public but as you know with all the world situation right now that's not really happening so they're just there and then I have a fork and a set of chopsticks that needs to be run through the dishwasher and sanitized but because somebody dumps some stuff in my sink to wash me out and it just grosses me out to have that so it needs to be sanitized. And then serving spoon and then like spoons for like coffee or if you want to eat something in small bites. Now if you'll notice I have four each of these and once again it comes back to having people over and stamina, having extra, just makes sense for me. So, once again, it's practical because access not that often. Access not that often, access regularly. When I'm accessing a plate and a bowl and a cup, I'm accessing flatware. This is the drawer for I keep hand towels, drying towels, reusable napkins, and oven mitts. So once a week, I will swap out the hand towels and the drying towels. So I'll grab a hand towel, grab a drying towel, and hang it where they go. And then at the bottom, you know, my food storage containers. Um, I have them at the bottom because they're glass, and glass is heavy. So... It makes sense for them to be in the bottom drawer and not the middle drawer and having the middle drawer be weighted. Also, I you I don't really do leftovers that much. So food the food containers are more for food storage and the times I do have leftovers. So having it at the bottom makes sense because I'm not accessing them all the time.
Now let's go to the middle section. This is up here is my coffee cabinet. So as you can see, I have a decorative hippo up there that my brother got me when he was traveling and I don't like a lot of knickknacks, but that's special. So he goes in the coffee cabinet for now. Now, this cabinet, you see that there's my two to-go thermoses, my two, like, straw things, and then coffee mugs, coffee pot, and then I need to ground the coffee that's behind that glass jar and put it into a glass jar. So you'll see that when this door is closed, I, just, I can just access the coffee pot and then when it's time to, when the coffee's ready, I can open the cabinet and grab a mug. And these things are to this side because I don't access them often, but they're still coffee related. And then under the sink, are trash bags, kitchen sponges, my all-purpose cleaner, laundry soap, filters for my Brita filter, extra cabinet lining, vinyl wrap, and then the bags are of course next to the cleaner. And then the crock pot is down there once again. And this kit is kind of like the only spot I had for it. So it just makes sense there. And then the emergency water that in the almost two and a half years I've lived here, I haven't used it, but I keep it on hand just in case. And then it's hand towel and dish towel. And I just used command hooks, but sometimes And then here is where I keep pots, pans, blender, bowl, and cutting boards. And then here is food. I recently went to the store, so I'm stocked. But it's the first shelf is easily accessible stuff that I will access on the regular. The second shelf is like snacks for me, snacks for other people, and a second thing of peanut butter that I just bought. And then the third shelf, because I'm in like a lack of pantry space, yes, I use it for smoothies because I really, because those aren't accessed as often my smoothie stuff, but it's also when I have an extra amount of snacks. Once you can see, as you can see, I've used one of my glass containers as food storage. So this, because usually when I'm cooking, I'm accessing my food. So I want them on the same side. When I'm making a smoothie, I'm accessing my bananas. So I want it on the same side. When I'm cooking, I'm accessing my utensils, so I want them all on the same side. Which is, and if you turn on here, there's the fridge and my cooking station. So, think like things I need to access at the same time go together. 
and it also goes by ease of use. So that is my logic behind how I have things organized. And just kind of a glimpse into why I keep how much I keep. Next week, I will go more into the now the light's not shining behind me and blinding you. Next week, I will go more into my kind of minimalism, which is practical and cozy, and what makes sense for somebody with chronic illness and chronic pain. So please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all next Tuesday. Bye.